Hello and welcome to UKVisaSuccess.com. My name is Silana Shlapak and this is the world of UK immigration system explained in simple terms. Uh, today uh, the video is dedicated to a sad but very very important subject, indefinitely to remain or settlement application for um, bereaved partners. Uh, for someone uh, who applied to enter the UK as a partner and unfortunately their settled person, their certain a settled partner or a British citizen um, has died. Uh, what to do under the these circumstances this video will explain exactly this in as usual in very clear and simply simple to understand terms I will start with an overview just to give you an idea of what this application is about I have prepared what I think is a brilliant mind map which will help you uh, get very clear about the uh, application, the requirements which the applicant will need to meet and uh, about the procedure. So the first step is, um, uh, there are five steps and first four about the requirements and the last one, five steps, uh, the, the last one is about the procedure. So let's begin. And the first requirement which the applicant will need to meet in order to succeed in his or her indefinitely to remain application as a bereaved partner, they will need to prove that uh, they are in the UK. This is pretty self-explanatory and the only thing you need to do is just to submit your passport to confirm that you are in the UK. So basically you cannot make an application when you are outside, only in the UK. The second requirement is pretty straightforward uh, and self-explanatory as well. A person will need to make an application uh, for indefinitely to remain uh, as a bereaved partner on a specified form, which will be discussed later, and they will also need to provide uh, supporting evidence to confirm that uh, uh, they satisfied all the requirements for this particular category. Requirement number three, the applicant will need to prove that they meet the suitability requirements. Suitability requirements is all about um, uh, criminal convictions. It's all about um, the genuineness of the application and um, about various other things. Um, there are two pages uh, of the suitability requirements and rather than um, um, naming them all, all here in the video I have prepared a separate document uh, the suitability requirement document which you will be able to, to download by clicking on the link below this button if you're reading this watch a uh, video outside of ukvisasuccess.com please head on over there this is where you will be able to find the link uh, to the suitability requirement document. Okay, I would like to concentrate more on the eligibility requirement because uh, this is a um, something which you will need to prove to the Home Office in order to succeed. The eligibility requirement consists of three elements. Element number one, the applicant's last grant of a limited leave must have been as a partner. And please make sure that um, this is not the fiancé or proposed civil partner application. This should be solely uh, the partner's application of a British citizen uh, or a person settled in the UK or uh, as a bereaved partner. So uh, they should have a leave as a partner or as a bereaved partner. And the eligibility requirement number two, uh, the person who was the applicant's partner at the time of the last grant of the limited leave as a partner must have died. And the requirement number three is um, it consists of two elements. The first one, they will need to show the the applicant will need to show that at the time of the partner's death, the relationship between the applicant and the partner must have been genuine and subsisting. But this is not all. You will also need to prove that each of the parties must have intended to live permanently 
with each other in the UK. So if you, if you if if someone wanted to live uh, with each other in Spain, for example, they they lived here for a while. They didn't like the weather and they decided to uh, go to Spain and they've prepared all the documents. But unfortunately, just before departure, the British citizen partner has died. Um, if this is the case, unfortunately, uh, the person will not be eligible. So they will need to show that uh, their relationship where genuine subsisting this is done by the way of proving that you have resided at the same address and probably if your case is a bit tricky I would probably make sure that I submit further evidence such as statements from France uh, if necessary if you think that it may be questioned in any way and uh, I would probably also submit some other documents um, such as uh, photographs uh, or um, uh, the, uh, as already mentioned, uh, official documents uh, to the same address where your partners uh, and your name will be on these documents. In my videos, I keep asking the same question. I keep asking you uh, a question about um, Ben Nevis Mountain. If you are about to climb Ben Nevis Mountain, uh, what will be the most important stake to take? step to take is it the first one the middle the last one and the answer is of course it's the next one so you cannot skip really any steps in order to succeed in your application and therefore the procedure is uh, not least important uh, key element it is the key element and it's very important for you to understand the procedure uh, and this will be summarized here uh, first of all uh, when can you apply you should apply as soon as possible uh, after the death uh, of the loved one. So as soon as you can, please make sure that you make the application. Um, another question is uh, to, to, to address is who can apply? Uh, only those applicants whose partner has died at any point during the qualifying period of limited leave as a partner it can be either entry clearance or leave to remain uh, also where the applicant's partner dies after an application for indefinite leave to remain uh, you can also make this application why would you want to make the application when you have uh, uh, already submitted uh, the application for indefinite leave to remain and the answer is simple um, uh, the uh, you, you should not really um, have any difficulty with meeting these, um, uh, the, uh, all the requirements for indefinite leave to remain uh, as a bereaved partner because there is no English language requirement and uh, there is no financial threshold uh, requirement either. So it's, it's a relatively straightforward application and therefore if uh, you have applied while your indefinite leave to remain application is still under the consideration, um, please send an urgent letter to the Home Office confirm, uh, suggesting that your circumstances uh, have changed and, and that you can no longer apply uh, uh, under the old category and you should uh, apply under a, a for indefinite leave to remain as a bereaved partner. How can you apply? Um, you should make your application on a set O, S E T brackets O application together with all the supporting documents. Uh, if you download, first of all, I would like to warn you. Um, that you have to make sure that the set O application is uh, the most recent one because if you make uh, the um, application on the out of date uh, form, this will be rejected. Um, secondly, you should make sure that you have enough money to pay for the application. Uh, at the time of recording of this video, the, 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 the fee is 1,845 pounds. However, this does change on an annual basis and therefore please make sure that you um, submit the correct fee when applying and you should also submit all the supporting evidence uh, confirming that you clearly meet the requirement. And this is it. Uh, this is all you have to do in order to succeed in your indefinite leave to remain set or settlement application as a briefed partner. And here is my brief summary for you. Uh, the first key element is that you will need to prove that you are in the UK. 
And the second one is that you have made a, a valid application and the application will be valid if it's uh, uh, done on the uh, correct application form, which is set O and, and that the form is not out of date. You have submitted the correct fee and you have also submitted all the supporting evidence to help the decision maker uh, establish that you clearly meet the requirements. Key element number three, you meet all the suitability requirements. And once again, um, you can download uh, in order to have an idea what these are from uh, my website, which is ukvisasuccess.com. And the uh, last element, very, very important one, uh, the eligibility requirements, which consists of uh, three things. Number one, uh, you will need to prove um, that you are a partner um, uh, of a British citizen, or you were a partner, of, uh, you were granted uh, leave to enter or remain as a partner of a British citizen, or a person who is a who is a settled uh, who is settled in the UK, uh, or um, you were granted leave to remain as a bereaved partner. The second eligibility requirement: you will need to prove that, um, unfortunately, the British citizen partner has died. And the third one, consisting of two. Uh, elements it's uh, you will need to prove that your relationship at the time when the person has died were genuine and um, that you had intention of living together um, permanently in the UK and if you haven't done already so guys I strongly advise that you visit my website ukvisasuccess.com if you're not there already um, to download uh, lots of um, very important uh, free information from the website where I help you understand how the UK immigration uh, system works. Uh, I um, I by, by using very clear and very simple simply to understand videos and mind maps. And um, also I would like to say a huge thank you to all of you who are writing to me and um, who are glad <laughs> with the fact that I have created this website. I'm, I'm so pleased uh, that you find this information valuable and Thank you so much for sharing your comments with me as well. And this is all for today. Uh, I wish that you have an amazing day.